Montpellier play their first ever Champions League game on Tuesday against Arsenal, but their Friday night opponents, Reims, twice European Cup finalists in the 1950s, could teach them a thing or two about making their mark on the continent. With Arsenal in mind, away coach René Girard chose to leave skipper Mapu Young and Biwa on the bench for the trip to Champagne. Montpellier was still first to threaten, though. John Utaka with this chance, but the former Portsmouth player's shot saved by Kusi Agassa in the home goal. A good stop this from Reims Togolese keeper. Utaka would go off injured not long after. Then another chance for the defending champions. A long ball forward from Vitorino Hilton to roving left back Henri Bedimo. His control was useful, but his effort cleared off the line by Anthony Weber. Bedimo too good for Christopher Glompar and for Agassar, but Weber in the right place at the right time. And having withstood the pressure, the newly promoted hosts went on to take the lead seven minutes before the interval. Crafty Brazilian Diego Rigonato marking his home debut with a goal. Like Laurent Koscielny and Olivier Giroud before him, Diego made his name in France with Tour. This his debut season in Ligue 1. There was still time for Montpellier to create one more opening before the break. Younes Belonda, last season's young player of the year in Ligue 1, with the shot saved by Agassa. <laughs> Unhappy with his side's response to being behind, Girard threw on Remy Cabela for the luckless Argentine striker Emmanuel Herrera, and it proved to be an inspired change. Seconds later, Montpellier will level. Cabela playing the 1-2 with Belonda and seeing his shot squeeze in. A beautiful move this, Agassa getting a touch, but just unable to keep the shot out. Montpellier had the momentum, but the pendulum swung again, and Raz were back in front with just under 20 minutes left. A fine goal this one from Christopher Glombard. Lombard, a full-back by Trey, but what a way to score your first Ligue 1 goal. And Rans put the game to bed with four minutes remaining. Glombard again involved. But it was unselfish play from the former Bordeaux man this time as he set up the substitute Gaëtan Corté to make it 3-1. Remy Cabela in the middle played Glombard onside and Corté took his goal well. That's three defeats in five league games now for Montpellier. 